Hey everyone, hun, have you seen this? This tomorrow is when I'm gonna be hey, officially hey, getting on, getting, I getting to catch my shuttle little to who get on the plane to go to Kawhi Memorial Day, so this is one of the few videos I have in mind for that, and will be before I finally get my trim done, so with that in mind, here is a rediscussion on Star Wars The Echo Light. I give more day, this is going live, which will be streaming its first two episodes on June 4th. Earth, and I think it's definitely always any to commemorate hey, the anniversary of the saga this year, so let's get started. Containing a cast of uh, so performers that are recognizable in other works but in their own respects are new to the saga. It's a series that takes place during the High Republic era of the franchise, as, as in millennia before the events of Skywalker Saga, so to speak. Like, as, as Jedi are being murdered, heard it's up to others to find out why, so in many ways it kind of builds on, on Obi-Wan trying to find out Kamino in Episode 2, and expanding that into the entire show. I mean, admittedly, he it's not as 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 clear as when Marvel does it, where they're oftentimes to get a new work that changes genre slightly and matches up something else. But here, it's definitely another kind of noticeable and effective use of that. Since I would say, based on how long it's been around, I have no issues with. Of making a detective story set in the franchise at all, well, to be certain. I know the main trailer went live weeks ago, but sometimes I just step back and give myself some space to breathe before I I really talk about something, and I think that's definitely for the best. I mean, as given this state of the saga, I mean, and even with of some people. Who I shall only say are living after midnight, eight, eight, or living on the edge, depending on my mood, mood, where, mood. It is clear to me that it's still commands a sizable fan base now that we're nearing ten years, years since the Mouse and Lucas Roman came one, and of course, it'll only be natural they want to keep milking that band as long as it still produces. His returns with them. I am, of course, intrigued by the elements in there. Not just this integrating more and more old visual techniques from previous entries. He's, he's such as the not just map paintings and even more stop motion puppetry, but also new who elements mean. I have to say that the inclusion of stuff like the have more saber techniques and the whip sabers, which have previously only appeared in both the old and new expanded universe, could easily rank on some of the best duels in the saga. I still reiterate I don't even mind how how they're remixing elements from the older installments, given how the whole saga started as as something of a remix of Corsair films and Flash Gordon serials. In fact, it's very well documented that, and that initially George wanted to make the Flash Gordon movie, but the people on the device said no. And of course, it was one of the many ones that cashed in after, after the saga became a hit. So, things are kind of funny how they work out that way sometimes. Also pretty fitting that given how this month marks the 25th anniversary of episode 1 and my proxy prequel tri trilogy, the, that another prequel, all, including the footage shown here, was attached to it, and given and there's a mixture of nostalgia and people oh, who want on the first look at the footage there, I mean, heck, I'm old enough to remember... People buying tickets to that terrible Wing Commander movie just to see the trailer for or it's main or episode one do be attached to that and then just bailing after the facts. So there's that. And 
on top of some of, of the merch that has already been shown off, both both consumer grade and collector grade, everything like the lightsabers I mentioned, also to the starship models, models. If you may ask why there's hey everything you're seeing is chrome, I was gonna spawn. Everything is chrome in the High Republic. <laughs> As per usual, oh, I will be waiting until oh, the first three episodes are live on D Plus before I start talking about it. Besides that, there are other parts hurts on the site and I that have some, shall we say, unfinished business. You'll have to wait and see what they are though. Oh I've just been really deep in there since the Hulu integration and came in. Like, I feel like I could go into a deep dive with just my anime backlog alone, but still. Anyway, that's all for now, and may the force be with you all. Mm -hmm.